Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Now I want to talk about who is your Lord. According to the Christian, the Lord is Jesus Christ. But according to the Muslim, the God is the Lord. Remember, remember, <coughs> the word the God is in English, but you have to translate it into Arabic to mean Allah. So Allah is the God. So basically, Allah is just the generic name for the God. But according to Amos five to seven, the Lord whose name is the God. So Allah is the Lord, okay? Not Jesus. How can Jesus be the Lord? But then to some of you who would like to say that oh Yahweh is the Lord. <laughs> Yahweh means the Lord, okay? I will show you it to you later in the Google Translate, okay? So basically, the Lord, according to the Old Testament, is the God. The God is Allah in Arabic. Arabic is Allah. English is the God. So it's very clear and simple. Okay. Even the character of the Lord is mentioned in Exodus thirty-four six. The Lord God, merciful and gracious, and in Al Fatiha, the Allah is the most gracious and merciful. Is the same thing. So basically, Muslim have the same God as in the Old Testament. Remember, Yahweh simply means the Lord. Okay. So, but then to some question, you know, they like to take. Especially according to Paul, that whoever shall confess that Jesus is, who should confess by the tongue that Jesus is the Lord to the glory of the God. Okay, that means Jesus and the God is the same thing. That means Christianity has two gods. <laughs> one is Jesus, and one is. God the Father. Okay, so basically, it is very uh, mysterious that how Jesus can be the Father, Jesus can be the Son, and then Jesus can be the Holy Spirit. And they keep on saying that one times one times one is equal to one. Okay, but then if they say that Jesus is fully God and fully human. Then why did Jesus pray to himself? Okay, obviously he was praying to the greater God because Jesus is not God. Maybe the Christian would like to use the word the Lord as loosely as like a landlord, you know, or master. But the only master. In the world is the God. The God means Allah in Arabic. Okay, so actually, Christian have no ground to claim that Jesus is the Lord. Okay, according to Luke two one one, for unto you is born this day in the city of David is a savior, which is. Christ the Lord. Okay, so basically, the Lord to Jesus may be simply just a prophet, you know, a master, but he is not the King of Kings. But of course, the Christian will quick to claim that Jesus is the King of King, the Alpha and the Omega, as in Revelation one eighteen. That he died and he lived forevermore. How can a god die? God is immortal. Of course, to you, you may think that oh, because he died, he lived again. He can die again and live again. <laughs> That's why he is immortal 
in that sense but basically every creature die except god that means god is immortal god has no attribute of death okay that means god cannot die if you have a dead god and live again that means someone somehow have misinterpreted it or mistranslate it or out of ignorance <coughs> for whatever it is they think that Jesus is God but Jesus is not God there are so many verses in the Bible that says Jesus is not God I can quote some maybe two Matthew 15 9 but in vain they do worship me that means Jesus was saying why are you worshipping me because Worshipping Jesus is the teachings of Paul and the Catholic priests. Okay? Um, and then, in John 20, 17, no matter how you want to claim in John 1, 1, 1, John 10, 30, okay? John 2017 cancel it all out. Okay? Jesus was saying he was going up to his father and your father to his God and your God. So that means Jesus is not the Lord, the God. Okay? Thank you very much.